I will be using uh, the program FreeCAD, open source 3D modeling, um, to do some CNC routing. They, you know, they've added their path workbench, which allows you to generate tool paths. And it's, it's pretty good. And they do have a post processor that works with my machine, which is just an Arduino with Gerbil on it. However, um, it seems like the post processor doesn't handle drilling cycles correctly. It's supposed to convert them since Gerbil doesn't, isn't able to process a, a drilling cycle. But I didn't get, couldn't get that to work. So instead, what I did is I just copied the, the G81 is a G code for a drilling cycle, and pretty much you just specify X, Y coordinates, and then the Z depth of how deep you want to cut, and then the feed rate is how fast to cut. Um, but you can sort of accomplish the same thing uh, with just rapids and, and linear feeds. So that's what I did is I got the coordinates from the G81, you know, from the G, the G code that FreeCAD made, and then I used those coordinates to kind of write my own um, drilling G code. And then I also made the uh, paths to cut out the profile. Now, you can see this stock here is not rotated correctly. This is something that think is a bug um, whenever it lets you orient your part the way you want according to how your machine is set up it sometimes the stock doesn't go with the part which is a little bit weird but it doesn't seem to cause a problem all right so I just opened up my drilling cycle code and this is universal G code sender and this looks pretty good there should be six holes And we can see these, this little run of three looks pretty similar to, well, let me hide that. There's our little group, oops, it's pretty sensitive scrolling on this one. So, seems to be okay. And, um, yeah, I'm just doing a center drill operation first, and then I'll probably do a quarter inch end mill to cut the profile. I will just tell it to go ahead and run the file, but I have the, my part pushed out of the way. Um, so essentially it's just running in the air. We'll, we'll see how it goes. I like to do this first. Oops, better stop that. I have my motors powered down. Now we will turn on the router and send it the program. So it's moving to the first hole location. And then it should drop down to right above the hole and then slowly down feed for the drilling. There's, there's a problem because it should raise up uh, before going to the next hole, so I need to make it. See, that's a good thing I tested it in the air. That could have broken the tool. So I can hit stop, and now what I'll do is raise my Z. Well, first I'll make sure it's in inches mode. And then we will wrap it to, we'll just pretty much go back to home. So we'll have to take another stab at that G-code program. So I just made the modification that after each um, drilling, each uh, drilling cycle, I guess, 
it will raise the Z up half an inch before jogging over to the next location. Well, now, now that I put the new file in, I'm kind of surprised I didn't catch in this visualizer before. The yellow lines are a little hard to see. Maybe I can, oops, um, there. So before it, it was going to the first hole and then staying it at the low level and just moving around from hole to hole, but now it, it cuts a hole and it comes back up to the clearance height and then it cuts another hole and then comes back to the clearance height. So this, this looks much better. I think we'll go ahead and send it. Still in the air, of course, so. It starts moving right away because I already have it half an inch in the air, so it's already at the clearance height. Otherwise, it would move up to half an inch. The down feed is 0 0.5 inches per minute, which is pretty slow, uh, but I found that when using a router uh, and at least a quarter inch end mill, it's a pretty good speed. A center drill could probably go a little faster. So it's definitely uh, handling the drilling cycle safely, moving the tool up first. Right. So this is a, a router, so the spindle's pretty fast, um, but this is hooked up to a variable speed, variable, um, speed controller so that depending on you know how deep you're cutting or what material you're cutting, you can adjust the power and hopefully reduce your tool wear and get better, you know, whatever surface finish. Uh, it's, uh, you know, at some point it might be cool to put a, a different spindle on there, but I've cut a lot of parts with this and it's, you know, it's working all right. When I cut this, I will first turn the spindle on and set the speed, and then I'll press the the go button on the computer, and we'll be able to watch it drill those holes.
so the uh, spindle loses a lot of speed doing those drilling operations. So, you know, a slower spindle with more power would probably be more appropriate for a drill, but um, that, you know, worked all right. 